We have like two questions that we need to ask. One is the fast fashion consumption. Second, we have to ask, um, like who can afford these type, right? So I can be high moral. I say, you know what, I'm only gonna buy, you know, high produce. I'm gonna willing to pay for high quality product. And I'm only gonna buy this and this. But that's not a realistic situation. Most of us don't earn it. As you just said, a lot of us can't even afford a housing. How are you gonna able to afford enough clothes to even go to work? So there are like really two questions we need to talk about. So I, I'm gonna bring it to a really simple term, right? Buy clothes that you love, wear them until it dies, repair them, and then wear them again until it dies. So that, and you can buy them at any, you know, any point, pay price. And then, you know, if you want to talk about fashion into the environment or you want to talk about slavery, that's another story. So that's the first step about consumerism, right? So the second is about then we go deeper into if you have the resort, and I urge you to do them, right? So buy stuff, uh, you know, within Canada. To be honest, a lot of Canadian designers can survive because most of us, no matter how good our intention is, are not willing to pay for a t-shirt that costs a hundred dollars. That's just like not in most of our mind, right? And you have to think about it, a t-shirt, the material itself, all the cost had, take about a um, two meter, right? About a meter and a half to two meter. That's about 10 to $20 in material. It takes about four to 10 hours to produce. And if you sell that for under a hundred dollars, you still not make minimum wage. Think about that for a second. And we want, you know, we all of us here want minimum wage, you know, right? At least living wage. Living wage in Canada is 20 some dollars an hour. So that's a really different question. So there are like so many multiple layers. I don't think it all comes down to about social media, about how we feel insecure and we keep some consumption. So if you like just slip the narrative, so you know what? This is gonna make me feel good, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear that again and again. I work like I literally just finished a project with um, a tip at Hollywood North, right? I ha uh, I, we have a lounge where I curate a uh, touching brand, and we have movie star, uh, you know, uh, musician. People come in and borrow anything they want, compliment, complimentary, and they can just return them. So you can we can start doing things like that, right? So first. A lot of these artists are selling money, so, but they do need to look their best on the red carpet, at the premiere of Tip, at uh, high events, whatever. Mm -hmm. Second, the designer has a, um, a co-relationship with these people, right? It built up branding. So, so that type of thing that I try to change in the industry. And if you really want to help the environment, the best way is to use natural material. So use as much natural material as you can. Because every time you wash your clothes, have polyester in them. Polyester is actually uh, plastic, right? So it creates microfiber. So a recent study last a few years ago, 77% um, of us have plastic in our bloodstream. That microplastic, right? So that's gonna create, so another five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, we have another health issue. So where did that go? So uh, there are a lot of questions, right? But like start with you, start with what you feel comfortable. You know, you don't go out and change everything, you can. You're gonna overblow your circuit and then you're gonna just feel overwhelmed, you know, I'm not gonna do anything. To me, I'm not here to change the world, right? The world never stops changing with or without us. Right? So you have to keep that in mind. It will constantly evolve. Right? Humans have the amazing ability to adapt and survive. Right? So each individual, each one of you, is the question you need to ask. How do you want to leave this world a better place?